Good morning, children. How are you? I think all of you are fine and safe on your home. I am Vijay Tita from BHMHS Moreno. We know that we are going through a critical situation and lockdown in our home. Don't worry. Remember, stay safe at home. Make social distancing. Use social networking. It is the right time to use social networking. We welcome all of you to the virtual classroom. Through our YouTube channel, we will share lectures and notes. You can enter through the given YouTube link and watch the classes. Thank you. Good morning, my dear students. I am Vijay Teacher. I welcome all of you to the 10th standard English classes. I think all of you are safe in your home. How do you spend your time? I think all of you like to go to outside and play with your friends or walk with your friends through the fields. Your rain started now. What are the changes you can see now? Changes of trees, leaves and everything that became green color. After the rain, uh, rain started, it became very green color. Dear students, the first unit of our 10th standard is glimpses of green. Glimpses of green. All of you, please open your textbook. Okay. All of you take the first page of this. The very beginning, we can see a titular picture like this. This is a titular picture. In this picture, we can see the colorful trees, rising sun, the birds, a man standing behind the trees. What the titular picture shows? What? The picture shows the blend of man with the nature. The titular picture shows the blend of man with the nature. Actually, our planet Earth is our home. There are millions of species live together in the land and in the ocean. Our planet provides us everything, so many things to live. Here we can see a video.
you? What do you understand? Yeah, nature is for all living beings. Being one with nature is very enchanting. Dear students, have you ever got a chance to spend your leisure time with the nature? Take your notebook and write a description about it. Chances to spend your leisure time with the nature. Okay my dear students, now we can enter into our first chapter. The name of the chapter is Adventures in a Banyan Tree by Ruskin Bond. What do you know about the other Ruskin Bond? Ah, he is an Indian author of British descent. He is an Indian author. Now, you prepare a profile of Ruskin Bond. Write it in your notebook. Prepare a profile of Ruskin Bond. Okay. Then now, please open your textbook. Turn the page. Okay, we can just start the first paragraph of your text. We can read the first paragraph of your chapter. Adventures in a Banyan Tree Though the house and grounds of our home in India where grandfather's domain, the magnificent old Banyan tree was my chief flea because grandfather at the age of 65 could no longer climb it. Grandmother used to tease him about this and would speak of a certain cowardice of Desmond, an English woman who lived at the age of 117 and would have lived longer if she hadn't fallen while climbing an apple tree. The spreading branches of the banyan tree which curved to the ground and took root again, forming a maze of arches, gave me endless pleasure. The tree was older than the house, older than grandfather, as old as the town of Jara, nestling in a valley at the foot of Himalayas. Okay. Dear students, now all of you are go through the paragraph again, paragraph again and write down the new words and its meanings in your rock book. Find out the meanings by referring the dictionary. Okay, without, we can read it again. Though the house and grounds of our home in India where grandfather's domain, the magnificent old banyan tree was my chief lee because, gra uh, because grandfather at the age of 65 could no longer climb it. Who is the speaker of the story? Who is the speaker of the story? The boy is the speaker of the story. Through the words of the boy, we can understand the story. The house and the grounds of our home in India were grandma, grandfather's domain under the control of the grandfather. Actually, the boy says grandfather is the king. He is controlling everything. The house and the property, the land and everything and everything is controlling the grandfather. That's the words of the boy. One thing the boy said, a old banyan tree is there. What is a banyan tree? That was a huge one, we know that. You see, that's a tree. The old banyan tree, the boy say, what the boy says, the banyan tree was mine only. Why the boy say so? He gives a reason. That is, he says, grandfather is an old one near near 65 years old. 
he can't climb upon the tree. That is why the boy says, what? The boy says, he can't climb upon the tree and the banyan tree is his own. And more than that, we can read the next. Grandmother. His grandmother used to tease him. Used to is an auxiliary verb. Is used to tease him about this and would speak of a certain countess of Desmond. Is it was an English woman who lived at the age of 117. The boy says how that, uh, how that woman died and would she would have lived longer if she had been fallen while climbing in an apple tree. From the sentence we can understand how the lady died. The spreading branches of the banyan tree which curved to the ground and took, which curved to the ground and took root again, form a, forming a maze of arches, forming an arch shape. The roots of the banyan tree makes an arch shape, and that seems gave him endless pressure. Actually. Uh, the author, the boy tries to convey us, the author tries to convey us the bond between the boy and the nature. The bond between, the endless bond between the boy with the nature. The tree was, he is describing the banyan tree. The tree was older than the house. Older than the grandfather, as old as the town of Dera, they are living there, nestling in the valley at the foot of the Himalayas. They are living in the town of Dera. The boy says, the banyan tree is an old one, older than his grandfather, older than his, uh, older than his house and everything. My dear students, Please read it once again. Don't forget to prepare the meanings. Now, copy down these questions. Then uh, write down the name of the unit, Adventures in a Bunny Entry, the first question. Have you ever got a chance to spend your leisure time with nature? Write a description about it. The first question. Second one, prepare a profile of Raskin Bond. Third question, who is the speaker of the story? Fourth question, the boy says, the magnificent old variant tree was mine. Why did the boy say so? Fifth and last question, prepare a description about the variant tree in the story. Don't forget to write new words and next means okay okay my dear students read it and study it well let me conclude my class thank you